Hello, welcome to Skull RPG Podcast. My name is Dwight Skull. My name is Jacob Skull. And today we're going to teach you how to tell, tell your, your story. story. So Dwight, the next one on our list is sabotage, which is, in essence, to go- it's the goal of destroying something, whatever that may be. How would you do that with a little bit more feel and depth than what I just explained? Yeah, absolutely. So sabotage uh it could be used with a countdown where especially in a modern or a futuristic game your players have to plant something they've all aligned their clocks and they know that you know at i don't know 1400 sharp they're gonna all these bombs are gonna start to automatically start counting down and once they have that they have three minutes to get out and then you run it just like the countdown that we talked about in our last episode so let's not cover that. Let's cover different examples of how you could run sabotage in a different way that doesn't ex- involve like an explosion. So sabotage is really any kind of misinformation as well. So you could take a critical manuscript or a book and your players could create a forgery of that and miss basically make sure that one word is different from one other word so that when... The big bad is using it to summon the big monster and they're citing the words to do it. Then your players are comfortable in it because the word you took out or changed actually is going to cause the monster to eat them or destroy them and not get into the world or something like that. Um, You can do that. Actually, you know, really good example. If you haven't seen the movie The Ninth Gate, which is about... I guess it's a books. It's about books and summoning the devil. And it's got, um, oh, uh, Johnny Depp in it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. But one of the things on there is that each of these woodblock prints is like a tarot card. And the tarot cards get all lined up. And with having the right one, supposedly you can summon the devil. But there's only three books left of this book that does it. And each one has a different version of the actual woodcuts because they the authors of that book sabotaged their own books to make sure that you had to have more than one copy you had to have at least three if not more to realize oh yeah you see like you wanted the one that's out so if you see like this book has the same copy of these same three things those copies are the wrong ones you want the one that's not the copy you want the a unique one and so you could do something really kind of a cool concept with that where in order to do something, you have to find a number of the same book and find out like what parts of them are different because the differences amongst the three books is actually the key. And that sabotage could be you changing out parts of that manuscript, parts of that book, so that they're the same, so that they, or maybe they're different in a different way and they assume it's different and it messes everything up. Okay, another different thing you can do. You know, cursed items used to be a huge thing back in the day, and they kind of fell out of place. So one of the things you could do with the sabotage is you could have, you could have your players or somebody else actually work in a cursed item, like an item that does negative instead of positive attributes. And as with all net cursed items, you can't unequip them. This was a huge thing in D&D 2. It almost fell out in like D&D 3.5. There's almost no reference to cursed items. There are, but most people never play them because they're annoying as hell. That said, I wouldn't like just be like every item you could potentially run into is cursed 10% of the time. What I would rather do with it is your players could create an intentionally cursed item to place in a situation that causes the entire thing to be sabotaged. So mm-hmm. um, uh, just so for instance, uh, the king is going to get coronated with a scepter and a crown. Those scepter and crowns give them certain magical abilities. Your players then work with a whole group of people of artisans to create a scepter that looks exactly like that other scepter. And they work with specific people and themselves to create a cursed version of the scepter that will cause maybe a different effect or the opposite effect. So the big bad or the king or whoever you want to stop, when they get this this scepter and the crown and they use them in conjunction, the cursed scepter starts reacting with the crown that's not cursed and causes like a a gate to open to a different plane or it could cause other anything you really want it to you know or fun one there is you could have the crown the cursed crown slowly cause insanity so you have a new king but he's insane yeah there's not so many different ways you can do with it i mean so many different things but the idea of sabotage is to s- destroy something that could be quick or is what you're saying it could be a slow burn mm-hmm. um, plant evidence on somebody before turning them over to authorities or kings this is a sabotage specifically because 
you know, maybe they have the dirt on you or the dirt on somebody else you like. And what you do is you start planting evidence against them. Now, this could be a long con game. And I would, I would, if you're going to do something like that, I would go back and watch our episode on the chase. Like listen to the chase episode because you can run a chase as if uh, not just people chasing each other, but you could run it as dueling um, wisdom checks or dueling other types of checks. And so by having this idea of planting evidence on somebody, you could have this long con where you're planting evidence on them, they're planting evidence on you, you're both trying to get to somebody that has more authority to take the other person out, and maybe your two groups of teams are fighting against each other, and they're all trying to plant evidence and trying to make the other ones look bad in such a way that eventually one of them is going to get destroyed by the king, either killed or exiled, exiled something. something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so you could run this... Planning evidence on somebody is it could be this long con game too. I mean, that's the nice thing about the sabotage in general is the idea is to do something that causes pain or harm to another person or group of people. And the biggest one we always think about is, yeah, it's a bomb. We can use magic to blow things up. We could have a, a summoning that happens in it incidentally. But also you could use it as something very small like stealing information or providing misinformation, or changing the information you have, or cursing things, so that the idea here is, just think about it in terms of a bigger a bigger idea than just explosions. Mm-hmm. Hey, thanks for listening. And for more resources, please go to SkullRPG.com.